thing is about music. I think any band that uses like pretty straightforward lyrics. I would listen to actually. I think it has it has been a really really good learning experience to to date Japanese people because. Um, I want to ask you like, dating with Japanese guys. No. Works well. <laughs> this is an embarrassing question. <laughs> like, speaking of Japan, like learning languages, mm -hmm. dating with someone like who speaks language you want to learn. Ah, uh, yeah. You mean like what problems, like mountains or no? Problems Just or like the so first first merits. Merits, okay, so like Koza, okay. I think that, yeah, dating somebody who doesn't speak your own language is really good. Like, even if it's it sounds like I'm taking advantage, it's like, it's good because it's really my time in the It's like really beneficial for me because, great, I can, you know, it's like my, you're like you're like my, one of my tools for learning Japanese. It's, it sounds really bad. <laughs> No, but, but it's the fact. It's fact. Yeah, I mean, of course, it's it's not like I'm dating them because they speak Japanese. But if they happen to be Japanese, it's like oh, nice, you know. Like, I think some romantic words. <gasps> oh, words. Right? Yeah, oh, you know, like it? some romantic yeah. phrases or some romantic words yes. are like used only in the such conversations yes. between uh, it, men and I, women. I think it has it has been a really really good learning experience to. To date Japanese people because, um, well, okay. First of all, learning another language uh -huh. is you learn how to. Oh, it's almost like opening up a new part of your brain. Ah. Uh, I mean, uh -huh. you learn like about yourself. Like I learn how to express myself in a different way, uh -huh. or in a new way, or in a better way, or more clearly. Well, I think we have also different. Well, it really depends on the person, but some people say that we have different dating culture. I mean. In Japan, it's like you get to know each other, get to know each other, and then it's like, let's get to go this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Very like official. Ofi yeah, you're kind of official, but then I find that in, well, I don't know, but in my experience, it's more like we, you go on a date, you see each other, you see if you like each other, and then, and then you kind of like naturally decide, or like you decide to go out, or you make it official, or whatever. But I don't know, I guess it's not that different. Maybe it's not that okay. different. I don't know. But. I think we're a little more lax about, like in the West, maybe about going on like a date and being like, "This is a date," or, or if it's like more, you talk about it more openly or don't talk about it. So uh -huh. Okay, so, um, so problems. Problems. Uh, so the thing about yeah, learning how to. This is <laughs> sorry. I have something to say about. This. I think it's really great. I've had a really good experience dating Japanese people. Fun and uh, just different way of like humor and everything okay, problems though i remember so i dated a japanese person for about two years uh -huh. i had a boyfriend for two years yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. no it's okay i remember it was the first time we started like having problems because i mean no matter what even no matter how good a relationship is uh -huh. you have you fight sometimes yeah. so you argue sometimes i remember the first time we had an argument and i was like emotional of course and I had I couldn't I wanted to say something but I and he doesn't speak English uh, so it's like I had to really try hard and it was really uh, stressful for me yeah it's not fair like you fight in Japanese right yeah yeah so it's like uh, I think it was good and bad as well, cause uh, like, bad because I really wanted to get my real feelings across without having to think but I had to think I had to use my mind yeah look for a word and I feel like uh, yeah when, I, yeah, when I was in America, I have to speak English, you know, of course, I have to speak English, and then I was, I was in America, so I'm, I was supposed to speak English, of course, but, <laughs> you know, English, my English is far away from perfect, so I wanted to say what I want to say, but I can't, I have to look it up. Your English is really, really good. But yeah, I know how you feel. But yeah. I have to look it up. But you know, like, you can't look it up when you have, like, when you, like, why you f are fighting. Exactly. And yeah, I know, you poor thing. <laughs> exactly. So no matter how much you want to say what you want to say, you can't. You have to. But it's almost, it's almost good in a way. I started to see it as a good thing because I became more of a, like, composed person. 
Mm. Because like if you're just if you get emotional in like if I'm speaking English and having an argument, I just say whatever comes to my mind without thinking about it at all, right? But if I ah. ha- if I have to argue yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. then I have to kind of calm down. And I then have to you really have think. to organize your thoughts. Yeah. So I think I became less likely to get angry or less uh-huh. likely to fight, uh-huh. almost because I had to like okay what do I really want to say uh-huh. what makes sense uh-huh. like what do I need to convey how do I convey it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be a good thing <laughs> yeah but like I think fighting is a very good way to learn languages <laughs> yeah oh yeah definitely and yeah fighting or even like crying or sympathizing something I had trouble with for a really long time and even now is if, so anything emotional is like when I really want to say thank you, like I'm really grateful, but my, my, my emotions, I don't know how to put them into words. Oh, uh, in Japanese. Yeah. So in, in English, maybe I can say, I have some, I have some words like, uh, uh, like I don't deserve this. Like, I'm so grateful. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. Like, I really couldn't have done it without your something. But in Japanese, like, all I know is like, arigatou gozaimasu, uh, and maybe like, kansha shimasu. And so for a long time, like, how do I really, how do I kando sasiru? How do I touch somebody? How do I make somebody feel uh-huh. emotionally moved? It's really difficult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who do you think is good for learning good Japanese? Good for learning Japanese. Thing is about music uh, uh-huh. is I think artists will always take like shortcuts or use a little bit strange Japanese to in order to like make a song sound mm-hmm. nice or yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, make it artistic or something like that. <laughs> Actually, uh, well, maybe for advanced, but you recommended uh-huh. Yabai yeah, Tisha's Yasuke, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> Actually, I think like it's yeah. not so difficult. Like, I don't think the lyrics are that difficult to understand. It's not that difficult, yeah. but like it's kata dialect. Oh, that's right. It's kata yeah. dialect. Yeah. So it's not sad for Japanese. So Yabai yeah, Tisha's yeah, Yasuke, it's, it's, a, it's a band, Japanese band, and then uh, they started their band in Osaka and they speak Kansai Yeah, it's, and they sing yeah. in Kansai Ben. One of the only bands I think that really that sings in Kansai Ben, a lot of the time, like even if the band is from Kansai, they will use Tokyo dialect and Tokyo yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you want to learn Kansai Ben, I think they use very simple lyri- like lyrics, but it's in Kansai Ben, so it's funny, really funny, I think. Too. Yeah, about yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, T-shirts and Uruhuru Yeah, Uruhuru yeah, yeah, I think any band that uses like pretty straightforward lyrics, like let me think. I would listen to actually Sekai no Wari. Ah, oh, Sekai no Wari. Because I think they use like, well, a little bit, chara chara, but like, um, but it is, but it is like simple, simple sentences. Simple yeah. sentences. Yeah. I like I maybe once you get a little like, I remember I tried I tried to study. Um, do you know Indigo Lion or Isna Kyo? Oh yeah, yeah, yes. It's very poetic. Yeah, like, really, it's like almost like shaitenna. Ikitenna. So. Shaitenna. Shaitenna. It's like uh, like putting on a cocoa. Pretend, uh, pretend to be cool. Oh, you try like trying to be cool. Oh, trying to be well, cool. I don't know because it is it is poetic, I think. Um, but it, also it's like. I can't understand. Can uh-huh. you understand this lyric? Like, I'm trying to read the lyrics. I'm like, uh, it's so difficult because they, he like uses really difficult words. Like, yeah, yeah. Really kind of maybe kind of shitakina or like poetic. Yeah. I don't know. I think we'll find Japanese music that you like, and then again. So what is it? Skina mono jōzunare. Ah, suki wa mono no jōzunare. Skinamono I mean, that goes for anything, I think. But so, if you like Japanese music, then use music to study Japanese. If you like, you know, I guess I've seen people use anime to study Japanese. Mm-hmm. I think it's uh, usually using really difficult language mm-hmm. or really like 
to make a character sound a certain way, like make him sound like Odita or make him sound like Yanta or something. They give them a specific. Well, I mean, I think anime is good at an advanced level to help study. Yeah. Anyway, passion. 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 <laughs> passion is the most important, right? Yeah. That's what you say. Okay. So I guess that's all about it. Maybe.、Okay. Yeah. Learning Japanese. Thank you for answering my questions. A lot of questions. No, thank you so much for having me. Sorry for talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, it was so much fun. I have to say, like、uh, in the end, like please subscribe to my channel and then <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Let's go like fusion. Okay. <laughs> please subscribe and give a thumbs up.